All right, the gun is connected to the Steadicam arm, which is plugged in and connected to the vest. And I'll spin around and show you a better view. It'll look better once I'm wearing it. And the headset is plugged up to the vest. And here's the headset. Let me turn it on since it is. Let me make sure that it is on. Oh, yeah, it's on. All right. Okay. Hang on, I'm kind of doing this one hand out here. So I just want to turn the headset on. You're going to get a video. Okay. This does articulate. I'm trying to. All right, so that's the front of like, the gun. There's a camera right there. I just have it aimed at a duffel bag, backpack. Um, so here, watch. I'm gonna wave my hand in front of it. My hand, watch the screen, see? All right, and that's how I aim this thing. And once again, Move this out of the way. One more thing. Um, I just installed uh, the special lens that I had to uh, 3D print a housing for, for the headset. Uh, let me turn it on again. Like I said, I'm sorry, this is Doing this with one hand. Uh, so when that LCD screen is right in front of your face, it, or your eye, it's hard for your eye to focus when it looks blurry. So I had to put a special lens in here, a uh, housing as you can see to fit in the eyepiece for the monocle. Um, I'm just holding an iPhone in front of it. So this is gonna look like, in person, it looks much better. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see that's in front of the gun. The gun's still on. So I'm just trying to show you guys again. But that way when I'm wearing a headset, I can actually clearly see through my right eye. It's the back of the vest. Uh. Nope, didn't mean to do that. So in the armor can be fully disconnected with these buckles. I believe these are two inch buckles. And there's a steady cam vest underneath with the uh, the Vietnam flak jacket underneath all that. So.